What's up, y'all? Kara here coming at y'all with a super quick video of how I modified my Denman brush. If you're interested, of course, stay tuned. Alright, so this is what the Denman brush actually looks like coming out the package. It's actually a nine row Denman brush, and those nine rows are super dense, and I feel like it actually ripped out a lot more hair than necessary so I'm gonna go ahead and modify this brush so that you know it doesn't pull out so much of my hair of course so we're just gonna slide off the head of that brush as you can see it's really easy to actually slide it off all you gotta do is push it out of the handle really simple really easy to actually push it out as you can see I separated the handle from the head of the brush and we're just gonna go in and open it up from the back as you can see it's really easy to open all you have to do is open it from the middle and that will show you where the combs are in the brush now each row of bristles if you want to call them bristles it's really not a bristle brush but each row of the brush basically comes out and when I first did it, I really didn't like the way it was modified. So as you can see, I'm going to end up putting them back and putting them back in. But I just want to show you how easy that it is to actually take them out. So here I did every other row to take out. And I started with the second row. I like the fact that it's so easy to actually modify a brush so that it can, it can actually fit accustomed to how you want your brush. So as you can see, that's how it left my brush with five rows. I actually wanted four rows, so you'll see me closing it up here and putting it back together, but of course I'm gonna take it back out. You see how easy that is. <clears throat> you can see how easy it was to actually take out and put back together, and now it has five rows, but I'm gonna show you guys how I actually kept it. So I'm just removing that brush head again, and I'm actually going to insert the rows that I put back in and take out the rows that I left out if that makes any sense <laughs> I hope it makes sense but I just basically um, took out the rows that's there and put back every other row so I left it with four rows I think I only have four rows in my Denman brush now so I left it um, I left that first row empty then I put in the row for the second one skip the row so it's every other row basically it's really easy to modify your Denman brush. I hope this really makes sense. I hope this is not a wasted video. I just wanted to show you it's really quick and easy how you can modify it. And I think since I've modified my Denman brush, I don't get as much hair being pulled out of my head. I know that's a major issue when it comes to these Denman brushes, especially if you have thick hair like I do. Well, I did. I'm... Listen, guys, I had the worst wash day experience ever, so I'm not even going to talk about that. You can check the blog post if you guys are interested in my wash day that just went to hell. But I just went in and put the brush head back on the handle, and that's what I'm left with. So I have a four-row denim brush now, which has been working wonderfully for my hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video of how I modified my denim brush. If you did... Definitely thumbs up this video, hit subscribe, the red button down below, hit subscribe if you're not already for more hair videos, hair, beauty, makeup. I do all kind of different videos here, but there will be a lot more hair videos coming up because I've been playing with my hair a lot lately. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, I will catch you on the next video. Bye, y'all.